Have you ever encountered something that should have been really easy to use, but instead it left you feeling confused, angry, annoyed? What if I told you there's a method that helps designers of products make sure their products are easy to use and also helps people researching those products figure out why some products might not be so easy to use? Hi, I'm Maya, and welcome back to Research Collective's Healthcare Human Factors and User Experience channel. As a human factor scientist in the field of healthcare, I spend most of my time designing and running studies on products that are used either at home as a patient, in a doctor's clinic, or even in the OR. When a study participant experiences a difficulty or an error while using a product, that means they do something the manufacturer didn't quite intend for them to do. It's then my job to figure out why, what went wrong. We do that with something called root cause analysis. Now, root cause analysis can be quite daunting. There are thousands of answers to the question why. So how do you know where to start? One method in particular that I find to be extremely useful is the PCA method. The PCA method is really more like a mindset that you can take when you're trying to figure out why people interact with the world the way they do. Now, the world isn't just medical devices. It's all products, even environments and other people. PCA stands for perception, cognition, and action. Perception is the first stage of that interaction. It's really just what we notice. It's what we see or smell or taste or hear or feel or all of the above. In relation to using a product, perception is how noticeable the product's features and functions are. A product that we all use every single day is a door. Now, when you approach a door and you're getting ready to use it, what's the first thing you notice? Are you able to find the handle on this door? Cognition is what we understand. Understanding is a big topic and it includes things like memory and problem solving, reasoning. All of that helps us make sense of what we perceived. So what we saw, what we tasted, what we heard, what we felt. Once you've perceived or noticed the handle on a door, cognition is knowing what to do with it. Now action is the interaction itself. It's really what we do with the thing we're interacting with. It's the response to both perceiving something and understanding it. Action involves planning, execution, and eventually control of voluntary movement. So action would be actually turning a knob and pulling the door open. Now difficulties and errors with products can occur at every level of PCA. I recently encountered a difficulty with a product that I really was surprised by. I wanted to get myself a drink from a mini fridge. I saw a handle, I understood what it was, and I went to pull it, but it was stuck. I could not get that door open. It's only after I was pretty embarrassed, and I had already tried opening this door quite a few times, that I found the other handle on the other side of the door, which allowed me to quickly pull and open. If I wanted to use PCA to figure out why this was so difficult for me, I might start by asking myself some specific questions. So one of those might be, did I notice the correct handle on the door? Did I understand what to do with it? Was I physically able to open it? In medical device human factors, the process of testing device use, recording any difficulties or errors with those products, and then determining the root cause of those errors and difficulties is often much more about preventing harm than preventing embarrassment with something like a door that's difficult to open or a sink that's difficult to turn on. But whether the product is being used in a bathroom or an operating room, PCA is a great tool for figuring out how to make products as easy to use as possible or figuring out why they're not so easy to use. For more information about PCA and plenty of other human factors insights, check out the rest of our channel or visit the resources page on our website, which is research-collective.com. Thanks for watching.